Good morning, everybody. It's Mindy, and I have an item to review. It's that special review program. I don't know if you've heard about it yet, but they contacted me. I can review items. I'm not going to do a ton. They send you the items for free, and I think at the end of the year, you're going to get a little statement for your taxes, but I'm not going to do a bunch of them. Anyhow, I wanted some of these. This is, this is one of those Christmas things. Here's a box. It came in an Amazon box, right? I opened it, and inside the box is a box, right? <laughs> yeah, anyhow. I got a set of Parku markers, dual tip markers, alcohol markers. I don't have any. I have lots of markers, but I do not have a set of alcohol markers. So I wanted to try them. And when I saw I could get this to review, I was like, yeah, I'm all over it. Okay, so let's see. And it comes like this. I'm telling you, this is just like a unwrapping event here. Okay, so it's bubble wrapped. I like that. Look, it's got this case. This is kind of cool. Look at this. Look at this case. Look at that. That's nifty. I might need this. I got to ship some stuff out. <laughs> so look at this. It's called Parku Dual Tip Art Markers. I got the 48 count plus a blender. There's a broad tip and a fine tip. Ooh, I like it. I like it. So the little box opens. This must be the blender sitting on top. Again, it's got a fine and a broad. Let's see. Ooh, man. How do you get it off? Okay, so yeah, that's got to be like the blender tip. The fine point one. They snap right on here. And then there's a wide tip like that. Cool. Oh my goodness. Look at these, you guys. Ugh. My first set of alcohol markers. Just look. They all have numbers and they have names. Pastel pink, powder pink, ice blue, mint green, light, emerald green, cherry pink, lavender. There's a lot of pinks. Light violet, cool gray, rose red, royal blue, black. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's stick, let's pull out baby blue. Look, it's got bumps on the uh, caps. Tells you the sense fine. That's broad. Oh, it's got the name and the number on both ends. Both ends. Okay. And then here's the broad tip. Come on, focus for me. There's the broad tip. Chisel tip, I guess you'd call it. And... Here's the fine. Okay, so these are cool. I got a book out, okay? I wanted to try these. They're 48, yeah, 48. Okay, so I got a book out here. And I think on this one, we'll just be able to try the fine tip because it's one of these hidden picture things. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. I get to pick my own colors though. So I need a red. Let's find a good red. Let's see. This will be fun to play with. I have never had alcohol markers, you guys. Red, cherry pink, rose red. Is this red? Is this color red? What's it called? Carmine, is carmine red? I have some paper in here. Okay, there's the fine tip. Oh yeah, that's a red. Okay, so let's just see how this, can you see what I'm doing? Okay, I think I'll blow you up a little bit. Let's see, let's get a little closer. I gotta move out this way now so you can. Okay, let me see if I can find some ones and just color a couple of ones. Where are some ones? Right here. Okay, so let's see, how's this work? I can outline it like this. Ooh, yeah, this is kind of fun. I've never done these with markers. This is the kind of thing I would always do with colored pencils. But, hey, it bleeds a little bit. You got to be careful. It bleeds a little bit. <sighs> Anyhow. Yep. At least on this paper, it is. It's bleeding into the other triangles. Anyhow. Um, yeah. I don't see any more ones. There's got to be more ones, but... Now let's try up here. If we get a bigger section. Like that. We got 
this little one right here. I think it just takes some practice because like I said, they do bleed a little bit. I know that um, Anxiety Art Adventures, she uses these all the time. I actually messaged her. I said, I think you use parkous, right? What do you think? She goes, I love my parkous. And I know she does a lot of stuff like this. So I'll have to ask her about the, the bleed through the line here. So it is going into the next triangle a little bit. Which, I mean, that might not be bad unless you're bleeding into a really light color space. I don't know. Anyhow, I think I got to play with them a little bit. But, I don't know, I got a set of alcohol markers, you guys. Yeah. Let me try a color next to one of these. What goes 11? 11 is black. Let's do a black. Let's do some 11 around the red I just did. Let's see what happens there. I think I got to outline and maybe stay, you know, to do these little triangles and then fill it in. I'll message her and see how she uses them because I know she does a lot of this color by number stuff. I know she does. So let's see. Just outlining. And then fill in. Hmm. Well, this will be something fun to play with, won't it? Yeah, that'll be fun to play with. You can't see a thing I did. All right. All right, let me bring you up close. All right. See how the red right here kind of bled into the other? See, they kind of bleed through a little bit. So I don't know how to avoid that. Um, we'll see. I'm so used to being able to be so precise and accurate with a pencil. Maybe it's just the knack of learning how to use the marker. I don't know. We'll find out. But this will be fun. Just to even play with the colors, you know. Do some swatching of the colors and see what we get. These will be fun. So, that's what I have, you guys. I mean, oh, look. Ooh, hang on. One more thing's in there. There's a card. There's a card in here. Can I blend the colors of these markers? Yes, you can easily blend them and layer them. There's a blender to help you. I got a dried out pen, contact customer service for a free replacement. Okay, free replacement if one dries out. Would you recommend these for adult coloring books or will it bleed through profusely? They're great for adult coloring books. Any marker will bleed through. <laughs> Our suggestion would be to put a couple pieces of paper. They're meaning behind through the paper. Do they dry out fast? No, they do not. So here's your little card. I suppose you could swatch all of them right here on the card, right? So you'd know the colors. Yeah, I think you can. Number one is wine red. Where's wine red right here? I think you can do a little swatching right here. Ooh, this is the fat one. What if we just do one? Hang on, if we do one line right here with the fat chisel tip. Hmm, kind of brown. Anyhow, I could go through and do all those. I might, we'll see. We shall see. All right, he's kind of a brown. Hang on. Hmm, well this will be fun. Anyhow, I wanted to try some, I just wanted to try, let's, let's try the fine tip here, the rose red. Now that looks like a rose red. I guess technically the other one looks like a dark wine too, but that'll be fun. All right, I'm going to play with these for a while and um, yeah, I'm going to see if I can figure out how to get them to not bleed into the other sections. When I color these little tiny spaces, little tiny spaces, right? Okay. Um, that's it, guys. I'll show you what I create when I'm done. How's that? Or maybe one day I'll do a color with me kind of thing and we'll see what we get. Until next time, um, think about subscribing if you want to come back and see more videos. That's always a great thing. Um, memberships is going great. Check that out. And hit the bell if you want to be notified when new videos come up. 
because they come up a lot. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff going on. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.